good morning all in this video lecture we'll discuss about a component of the uh, absorption type instrument and this block diagram represents the components of an uh, absorption type instrument uh, the components include radiation source wavelength selector sample detector and the reader okay in this session we'll discuss about the wavelength selector so what are wavelength selector so wavelength selectors or the devices which is used to select a particular wavelength and uh, when it comes to wavelength selectors you have two types one is the filters and monochromators filters are used to remove the unwanted wavelength or it will allow only a particular wavelength to pass through the sample uh, the two main requirements of a filter are it should have high transmittance at the desired wavelength and it should have low transmittance at other wavelengths and the types of filters are absorption filter and interference filter in this lecture session we will discuss about the construction of these filter and its working so absorption filters or uh, optical filters which usually consist of a color media color glasses colored films uh, example gelatin and the solutions of color substances or uh, some of the absorption filter a selectivity of an absorption filter depends on the uh, thickness of the glass so by increasing their thickness uh, two to more two or three of more times uh, a selective uh, light filters uh, could be achieved absorption type filters do not provide a high degree of uh, monochromaticity required for isolating complex systems due to this reason these filters are restricted to only very simple type of photometer and this diagram represents the absorption type of filter you could see here uh, this x axis represents the wavelength and the y axis represents the radiation energy you can design a composite filter by using uh, a, a set of unit filters can often used to uh, get a composite filter uh, thereby uh, you can have a, uh, you can design a sharp cut off filters and the other of uh, short wavelength cut off filters and the glass filters consists of a solid sheet of glass that has been covered with a pigment uh, which is either dissolved or dispersed in glass whereas uh, gelatin filters consists of a layer of gelatin impregnated with suitable organic dye and sandwiched between two sheets of glass glass filters could be used for long period but gelatin filters could not be used for a long period uh, the reason is with the absorption of heat uh, those gelatin will tend to deteriorate uh, due to the changes and the bleaching of the dye so that's why glass filters could be used for a long period and the gelatin filters could not be used so if uh, we have studied about two filters glass filters and gelatin filters next comes the interference filters interference filters uh, please have a look at this diagram the interference filters and these interference filters consist of two uh, semi transparent layers of silver deposited on glass uh, by the process of evaporation in vacuum and they are separated separated by a layer of dielectric and the uh, space layer is made of a substance which is of a low refractive index and the selection of the particular wavelength is uh, determined by the uh, thickness of the spacer dielectric layer and uh, this uh, this thing you could see here see over here you can see the path of light rays through the filter so 
so the part of light that is transmitted by the first film is reflected is reflected by the second film and and again reflected on the inner side of the first film it will interfere with the light that is coming in the interference may be constructive or destructive constructive interference uh, between different pairs occurs only when the path difference is exactly one wavelength whereas destructive interference occurs for the wavelength uh, with phase for the wavelength uh, with phase difference so interference filters or uh, used to allow much narrower band, band of wavelengths and they are similar to monochromatians yeah. monochromatians in the selectivity so one type in interference filter is the continuous bridge filter which permits continuous selection of different wavelengths and this kind of wavelength selection could be achieved by a phasor film of graded thickness between the two semi transparent layers of silver and the interference filters can be used with high intensity light sources since they remove unwanted radiation by transmission and reflection uh, rather than by absorption and these filters are simple and less expensive so i think you have you would have had a clear idea about uh, filters both absorption filters and interference filters thanks for watching